Oh my god. I've only just noticed that my bloody top has thumb holes. I thought I had a rip in it. But it has <laughs> thumb holes. Why? Why do I need these? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Len. If you're not, welcome back to my weird and wonderful life. Um, so I'm just gonna address the elephant in the room because <laughs> It's not gonna go unnoticeable. I'm aware since the last video you've seen, I've had quite a drastic change in my hair. Um, now that change was a while back, um, but obviously I just haven't uploaded since, or filmed really since dyeing my hair. But originally my hair was brown with some nice blue bits in it, but I got a bit bored of the blue. The blue wasn't actually what I wanted to go, like the color wise. You know, just getting it out of my system and I was just like, I went blue, I was like, it's cute. Um, and then I decided to take it upon myself to do my own hair rather than go to salon because, you know, broke bitch over here. I was like, okay, I'm not gonna go over just the blue. I'm also gonna bleach the roots because I feel like, I don't know, they weren't bleached enough. I feel like there was too much brown. I'm an idiot. Now I have green patchy hair. I was meant to go green, just FYI, it's not gone that wrong. I just wanted to address it because I know I'm very aware my hair looks fucking weird and a bit shit. So you live and you learn people, you live and you learn. And Brad Mundo, I'm sorry. But anyway, let's get into the video, shall we? So today I didn't really know what to film. I needed to film today because it's the only time I could film. I kind of just thought of an idea on the spot and I remember watching um, a Sam and Colby video where, oh, why am I seeing green? Help. Where they reacted to the weirdest, creepiest toys. And I was like, yeah, there were some weird creepy toys in that. So I decided that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna look up some creepy toys and you can react to them with me. First time I'm hopefully gonna be seeing any of them. I don't know why I said hopefully, but whatever. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. Well, let's get into it, shall we? So let's react to some of the weirdest toys. I don't know what the fuck that was. Where should we go? Should we go to mum.com, mum live, 10 weirdest toys ever. Oh, okay. Right. Well, we're off to a good start. Um. I um I have no words to what I've just witnessed. That is um that is interesting. Well let's let's get into the article I guess. Oh here we go. The shapeshifter punisher. Wow. Um Deluxe Edition has a projectile launcher exactly where the man's part should be. Seriously giving new meanings to the term packing some heat, huh? Well I can definitely see it's bloody deluxe. That's a big old gun there. It's has a projectile launcher that shoots stuff out of um out of a gun in the man's region. Now, if that's not done deliberately, um, I don't know how this got sold. I don't know how this got into shops, and I don't know what parent would willingly buy this for their child. But you know, um, I have no words for this. Honestly, that's a big old gun. That man is definitely fully loaded. Oh. No, I can't believe I just said that. Well, that's terrifying. A jibber jabber doll. Shake the jibber jabber and his noodle neck to have him make noises and shake even harder to make him shut up. They're probably not the best way to teach your kid how to interact with others. I mean, yeah, maybe not because like, you know, teaching kids the wrong way of like interacting or whatever. But I can safely say I don't think I, I mean, I don't think I've ever laid eyes on this toy before, but I don't think I've ever had a kid literally shake someone until they shut up on their neck. So I think we're okay. Um, if your kid's doing that, I think you need to send it to get help because that is a serial killer in the making. Aside from that, this is terrifying. This is something that is literally in a horror movie. That reminds me of Mr. Smiley or whatever that thing is. I've never watched that movie because I don't think I could. I love horror movies, but that's my limit. Like creepy toys and like, you know, dolls and mannequins and everything, mimes, clowns aren't for me. I was never a kid who really liked like baby dolls because they freak me the fuck out. So this would have been my worst nightmare as a kid. We can kind of see how a plush stomach or a plush heart would be useful. Maybe a fun way to teach little kids about anatomy and how their body works. But a stuffed bladder, stuffed ovaries and stuffed testicle. What? Excuse me? Why would you give so I'm assuming that's the ovaries right there, um, and a little nut sack. Um, Why? Why? Also, as a kid, I would not look at that and be like, oh, is that the ovaries? I would look at that and just think it's some weird creature. I mean, that is what I first saw when I saw this picture just now. Now looking at it, I realise what it is. Again, how did this make it onto the market? I'm going to have to look at a video of this. Plush guts 
This is so weird and I don't think they're even that old. Smiling, even if yours is not smiling, ours is. Maybe she'll cheer you up. Also, she has some really sweet, poseable um, action fallopian tubes. So you can make her dab, you can make her cover. If anyone's fallopian tubes are dabbing, <laughs> I mean, that's a skill, but what the f She can clap for you. Yay, I love you so much. So she's pretty special. She'll put her little ovaries on her hips. I hate it, I hate it so much. I don't think this is for kids. Having a ball with a testes plush. Oh, wowzies. Your testicle. This fantastic organ is just one of my favorites. It is so darn cute. I um, I think I'm done with this video now. <laughs> We're only two toys in. This is just too much, too much for me. Too much for me on a Monday afternoon. Um, Sorry, Dora the Explorer Aquapet. These people are doing this on purpose, they have to be. What is this? Now we're gonna read the description and you can't tell me within a second of looking at that, you were already thinking something because if you weren't, you're too young to be watching this video. If you were, then you're on the same level as me of being immature. But also I think it's almost impossible not to see that. And if that was not done on purpose, what is on that creator's mind subconsciously? Right, Dora the Explorer Aquapets. We're not quite sure why Dora is in the water, but we're more busy trying to figure out how the Dora Aquapet could go past production. Unless we're missing something, it's pretty clear. Looks like a different sort of toy. You know, the ones meant for adults only? Yeah, let's advert this one up too, because I don't, unless, do you think this could be like an adult Dora the Explorer toy? Oh my God. Dora the Explorer Aquapet. Oh wow. No, 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 no. They don't have different sizes, small, medium, large, two inch, 2.5 inch, three point, th oh, three, three inch, I don't know why I went. Guys, what? Looking for that perfect Christmas gift? Introducing the Dora Aqua Pet. It comes in a variety of colors, including flesh pink, brown, yellow, and for the really wacky, blue. Don't let its small size misguide you. It's small, but it's fierce and battery operated. That's what they all say. It will swim through any canal, no matter how deep or wide. And perfect for a nice warm bubble bath. So get your Dora Aqua Pet today and have the time of your life. Ages five and up, batteries not included. No. That has to be a joke. I really am struggling to process this. This has to not be a real ad. I don't understand, people. What have I just witnessed? What have I just witnessed? I'm baffled. I am actually baffled. This is turning out to be a whole lot weirder than I was expecting. I was like, there'll be some weird toys in there. There'll be some strange toys in there, I bet. But like, I wasn't quite expecting that. I mean, it's one thing me questioning how these got manufactured and how they got on the market. But I will also be judging those parents who buy this for their kids. If you're a parent and you cannot see within a second how wrong those toys are, and you buy that for your kid, I have questions. Uh, these things are face bank. Okay, I remember Sam and Colby did react to these. Teaching your kids to save money is awesome. I said that really weird, it's awesome. But this face bank might scare them away from ever making a deposit. These things are bloody terrifying. Let's get a video up because they are bloody terrifying. This is so weird. Oh, it freaks me out. First of all, it bloody takes forever to take the coin. The patience you would have to have. Second of all, the noise it makes is in itself terrifying and it sounds like a chainsaw. And for me, the main thing is those frick, well, it's terrifying, it is terrifying, but it's the eyes, the way they look at you. Oh my God, this is so bad. I think this might genuinely be a genuine mistake. And I feel like I said genuine so many times just then, but like, it's just so bad. If it'd been a different color, it would have been fine. But this literally, this is a penis, it's not a guitar. And if I had a kid and they had bought those or someone had bought my kid those and I saw them eating them, I would literally have to double take or just, I don't know. I would, I, I, no. <laughs> This must just be how it's placed, but why? Why? I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to screenshot this. Who did this? Who actually did this? As a kid, I would think literally nothing of that. That's the thing there. 
The toys are fine. As a kid, I would literally think nothing of it. But as a parent buying them for the kid, I would literally be like, what is going on here? Like, no, 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 no. Why were these toys never around when I was a child? These don't look new. Do Americans just allow every toy possible? This is so weird. I get they're trying to like, you know, show that these people are having babies. The babies are real. You know, you gotta teach your kids about babies. But like, that is bloody terrifying. I'm gonna have nightmares tonight. I'm actually gonna have nightmares tonight. I don't know why I just do this video because I just feel that disturbed. Toys disturb me. I don't know why. I just find them weird. I just think about how I would react as a child to any of these. And it wouldn't be well. On to the next one. Might as well keep going at this point. What an earth, people. What an earth. A Batman squirt gun. Totally fine. Totally not that weird. But when you position the gun there and his face looks like that. What the f***? Oh my god. <laughs> Again, was probably done quite innocently. It looks like a sword but in the shape of a heart, but it's so phallic. And you're blowing bubbles from a... F I Tell me that this is not okay. Tell me that I'm not wrong <laughs> thinking this is just not okay. It's for a child, it looks like that, and they blow bubbles. Strong emphasis on the blow. Come on, people. The buzz job. The buzz job. Oh, I don't think it's called the buzz job. I was worried then that it was called the buzz job. Okay, sorry guys, but this buzz light year sippy cup. <gasps> Just quickly look at this guy. Why? <laughs> Again, this was hopefully totally innocent. Why would you place a straw there? Like, why would you place a straw there? Tell me now, tell me now that as an adult or someone knowingly of an age that understands where we're coming from here. Again, if I saw a kid sucking on this sippy cup, I, oh my God, what is happening? What is happening? There's another one. I Googled image this and this just came up. A Disney sippy cup fail where you're, Sucking out of Tigger's ass. How did these things happen? How? I'm gonna shave the baby. You can shave the baby. First of all, the baby is disturbing in itself. Second of all, discriminate against ginger babies, which is not okay. And third of all, if your baby, well, they're not body shaming anyone. Body hair is very natural. But if your baby has that much hair on it, you need to go take that baby to a doctor because that is not natural. That is not okay. The baby should does not have hair like that unless it's got a medical condition. So please go take it to get looked at because no, there is literally a toy for your kids. Look at this girl. That is Hitler. Why would you make a toy for your kid? That is Hitler. Who is making these and who is buying these? That is so weird. And she looks so uncomfortable to be honest. That is definitely like, why am I holding this? And for my final one, people, I think I've had enough. But is this a bull gag, a squeeze popper gabbles? What is this? Squeeze popper huggables. It's an outdoor playing toy with a bear and a ball. Oh, and there are other ones. There aren't just bears, there are penguins as well, there are some seals. I'm just gonna have to watch an advert for this and then I'll be on my way. Okay, no, this is actually people with bull gags. This is not what I wanted. Now I've looked up <laughs> bull gags. But there you go, there you've had it. I now have a search history that's probably gonna be questionable. And if anyone goes to my YouTube, they're probably gonna be like, well, clearly into bull gags when I was just trying to look up this bear. But that is my video for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed and are as hopefully as disturbed as I am because if you're not, you need help. There are honestly so many more toys and I just don't have the time to go through them all slash don't know if I could destroy my soul any more than I already have. Please don't buy any of these for your kids. Please tell me if you've ever had any of these as a kid and why your parents just to ask your parents why they bought them for you. I uh, thankfully haven't but I just I just don't <laughs> get how any of these made it out into the world. And yeah, so that's that video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give this video a like and comment down below. And please subscribe to my channel, it would mean the world to me. And I'll see you guys next week, bye.